Hey guys, it's Jackson. Uh, my channel name is Valtronis. Um, this is my motorcycle, the Yamaha 2014 V-Star 250. Um, like I said, I would give you guys a better review because the other one is just an overview, a walk around. I've put about 200 miles on it. Uh, and I feel I can give you guys a proper pros and con. Um, from what I experienced. So, it's a good bike. Uh, it takes a... I live in Arizona right now, and in the winter it's uh, not that cold, but it, uh, I ride pretty late because I, I go out, um, and uh, between 10 and 2 a.m. it takes a good two minutes to properly warm up the bike with the choke on, and... Uh, but other than that, it runs fine. Um, the, I'll start with a con. Uh, so the dealer told me that they gave me a full tank of gas, which was a lie. They actually gave me like half a tank. I got about... It, this bike gets 75 miles to the gallon. And uh, they said they filled it up, so I figured you know I could get a hundred, good 140 miles out of it before having to fill it since it's a 2.4 gallon tank. Um, but I only got like 90 and then it started to lug while I was driving and it does not have a like fuel indicator saying that you're low or a fuel gauge saying that you're low. You just kind of have to keep track of it by your trip. Um, and that's one of the, the cons and I figured that out the hard way thinking something was wrong with my bike because it was lugging and then stalled out while I was going like 50 miles an hour. But, uh. Yeah, I had to deal with that. Um, the battery is under this seat. I figured that out the hard way too. I accidentally left my key in, in the on. I know, stupid, stupid. But uh, all you had to do is uh, unbolt this screw right here. And the one on the other side, the seat comes off and the battery's under there. Jump it like you would a car. And then, since it was a brand new bike, I didn't have to replace the battery or anything. I just um, took it for like a 10 minute ride and it, the battery charged up fine. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Um, yeah, good gas mileage, rides really smooth, shifting's really good. Um, all the, I have really big feet and uh, I'm not wearing shoes right now, but um, they, this fits me just fine, uh, even when I'm wearing boots or just regular tennis shoes. Um, so I can reach all the things pretty pretty decently. I wear a size 11, um, just so those of you who are buying it or considering buying a Yamaha V-Star can get a close guesstimate. Um, let's see. Uh, they. After reading through the manual, I figured out this cool little feature. I don't know how it really works with helmets, but uh, you put your key in here, unlock it, and this is apparently a helmet holder. Uh, I don't know how, because my helmet's huge, or where it's supposed to like hook through. Maybe you're supposed to do it with a strap or something. I don't know. I'll have to look more into that, but uh, I thought that was pretty neat. Um... <clears throat> Yep. It, uh, it does, I mean, this is my first bike, so it's still good for me, but I'm assuming in the, by the time I pay it off, um, as you can see, it only goes to 90 miles an hour, uh, max, and it reaches that no problem, you know, I can pop it into fifth gear while I'm riding on the freeway or just on a normal street and I can hit 75, no problem before having to even go like full throttle. Um, but, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a great starter bike. You know, it's something for me to get used to on. I would really recommend it for people who are like the cruisers. I'm going to upgrade to a super sport when I get this off, when I get this paid off. Um, only because I like all bikes. I don't necessarily have like a preference. I wanted to start on a cruiser, I knew that, and then uh, test out a Super Sport and uh, 
Let's see where it went from there. I'll let you guys hear it before the video is over. So let me just do that real fast. Oh yeah, and the ignition's down here, which is a little bit weird, but you get used to it. Okay, it's cold. Sorry guys. Let me put the joke on. Like I said, it takes a few minutes to warm up properly so that way the engine's running warmly. All the oils and the go through it correctly. Um, you make sure you want to do that if you want to keep your engine in good condition if you care. If you don't care, then you know, just just turn it on until it starts and then ride it, I guess. But uh, you know, I want to keep my engine alive as long as possible. All right, hope this helped, guys. Uh, out of 10 stars, I'd give this bike an eight, honestly. And it's a great bike, I love it. Uh, yep, yeah. post in the comments if you want any more detailed questions, specific parts of it covered, anything like that. All right, subscribe if you like. Uh, I'm looking into getting a helmet cam to ride with and maybe do a moto vlog soon. We'll see. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.